Then some of his shoulder pain was actually due to some different changes that he had in the shoulder. And so our physical exam testing showed that there might be some supraspinatus impingement uh, and that there was a little bit of supraspinatus tendinosis and not a tendonitis because this is a long-term chronic issue for the patient. And so under ultrasound guidance, we injected into the supraspinatus tendon, into the tendon anthesis, which is where the tendon is attaching into the bone. And then also to help out some of the nerves on the anterior aspect, we did what I'm calling a sub, an anterior subdeltoid fascial plane hydrodissection. So we talked about this a while back in a different episode, but basically what we are doing is between the rotator interval and the deltoid muscle, we are trying to hydrodissect the fascial plane between those two. The reason for this is that there are a lot of peripheral cutaneous nerves in that area that are gonna innervate these structures on the front side of the shoulder and getting a large amount of fluid. So in this case, it was platelet poor plasma with some 5% dextrose, a very low dose dexamethasone and and ropivacaine, we are trying to calm down the inflammation around these nerves and help them to repair and restore themselves. So that way they are no longer painful long-term.